Hello everyone, welcome in Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah with a little time for tea. Now, I'm actually recording this on Sunday, not the Monday that it gets released on, so I'm a little bit ahead of the game this week, maybe. We'll see how that turns out. I uh, just wanted to let you know, I do subscribe to the monthly box by Sips By. I pay for it with my own cashy money. It is not sponsored, but it's a subscription service that I've particularly enjoyed. So there's that. Uh, this choice out of my four for the month is called Choice Organics. Yes, the nails are awful. Haven't done them yet. White and green tea, white elderflower, not elderberries. No, nobody's being accused of smelling like elderberries for this one, okay? Uh, the tea is a brewing. The mug is hot. There it goes. Okay. Every month with uh, Sips By, you get a card. This is June Teas, and it was a made for Deborah. And this one says White Elderflower Sips By Choice Organics. One bag per eight ounces of water. My mug is a little bit bigger than that. Uh, just boiling, steep three minutes. Well, my mug is bigger, so I'm gonna do it for about four minutes. The timer is going over there. Uh, it says, hang on, organic white tea, organic jasmine green tea, organic toasted brown rice, what? Organic Indian sarsaparilla root, organic licorice root, organic elderflower extract. Can we say organic any more times for this particular tea too? I mean, it's a drinking game, I guess. If every time I say organic, you took a drink, you'd be passed out by now. I'm just saying. Uh, a, f a medium caffeine in this one, by the way. A floral and delicate tea with a subtly sweet aroma. White tea, jasmine green tea, and beautifully blooming elderflower come together in this harmonious blend. And it's at Choice Organics Products is where you can look for that besides on Sips By. So there you go on the card. It's what it says. Lots of words that say organic in there. I do like the color of this packet though. That really caught my eye when I first opened the box this month was, ooh, that's a pretty blue. What can I say? I'm a sucker for color stuff, right? Uh, and, the, and on the packet it says, how to brew. Give the blend some time to blossom. Yeah, bring water just to boiling and steep three minutes. Three minutes is hardly enough time to blossom, but whatever. Caffeine level out of their little four dots is two dots. So medium caffeine, and it gives you all the ingredients, which we have already read from the other information. That is the beep that says, this has been four minutes because I set my timer for four minutes on it. Um, it is not a particularly dark color tea, but I guess being a white tea, whatever, or white and green, that would to be expected, right? It is very, very steamy still. Wow, this one's gonna burn my face off. Um, and if you're new here and you're wondering, yes, this is a clothespin. I clip my tags to a clothespin and either set it on the table next to it or I clip it to the mug, depending on the mug, to keep the tag from slipping in. Yes, I know, it's a nice long one and you can wrap it around the handle, but things happen. And the one time that I don't clip it on there, I don't care if the string is this long, the tag's gonna go into the tee. I'm just saying, that's what happens. Anywho, I am going to unclip this, take this out, and just give it a gentle squeeze on the side of the mug so that it doesn't drip too much on the plate that I have down here. And I have a spoon, a little teaspoon. It smells very pleasant and very floral. I do get that floral note out of this from the scent. Now I'm going to attempt to drink some, at least cool it off with the spoon, and uh, see what it's like without sweetener. It is definitely herbal tasting. Um, that's not bad, it just, that's what it is. And I got so used to drinking black tea because I've had a lot of black tea lately. Um, but it's so, it's so not black tea but it is quite pleasant. I think it would be even more pleasant with some sweetener because that's how I roll. So I'm going to add in my generic stevia as usual. This came from Aldi, one packet. Let's pour it in and see how it dissolves. It's hard to hold up. Using the clear mug because we all like to watch what happens in the mug. 
Ooh, look at that sweetener swirl around. And it does dissolve quite nicely, especially in a hot liquid. I haven't tried it in a cold liquid, though. I just don't usually add stuff like that to cold liquid. So let's see what this tastes like with that little bit of sweetener. For me, definitely better with sweetener in it. I could see where this would actually make, it doesn't say, but I think it would make a nice refreshing iced tea with some sweetener in it. Absolutely. And since it is hot and humid here right now, ugh, summertime in the south, yay. That's quite nice, actually. And despite the fact that there's caffeine in this, I think this would make a, a nice relaxing evening tea if you're drinking it warm. Just my take on it. But you know we have to try the creamer in it. This is a generic Walmart brand sugar-free vanilla creamer. And I know we have to watch it move around in there. So, gosh, I love watching that. Seriously, somebody get on a channel where we just watch creamer go into tea or coffee and watch it move around. And now it looks like I have a mug full of just creamer, but I don't. I really didn't put that much in. Mmm. <laughs> Vanilla makes a lot of things better. This is one of them. Yep. I mean, the other f flavors are so subtle that the vanilla almost overpowers them. And that's saying a lot for vanilla. But that's not a bad thing. I actually like vanilla flavoring. I find it quite yummy. So tell me, have you tried Sips By or any other tea subscription? I know there are some others out there. Um, tell me about it in the comments. I know that uh, Trisha, Trisha the Knitting Lady, I know that she has tried it and she uses hers and has fun with the different tea flavors and stuff, but she is way too busy to make tea videos, okay? She's always traveling and doing stuff. She's a wild one. Um, I know that Neva from Manic Mom and Using, she subscribes to a tea service that's not Sips By. I think it's like Dollar Tea Club or something, and she has a lot of fun with that. So, yeah. If you like tea, I mean, I like tea and I like coffee, but the coffee that I like is more like candy. I mean, let's be real. It's like macchiatos and stuff. Um, with teas, I love all kinds. Mm. It just got to cool off a bit more before I can drink it down like it deserves. Because, yeah, I don't want to burn my face off. We'll save that for a uh, hot taste on Wednesdays. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you for joining me for Time for Tea. You should always take some time for yourself, whether it's to sit down and have a cup of tea each day or just sit down in a room with the door closed and locked so the kids and or pets cannot demand your attention. And uh, just sit for a few minutes. Do something you enjoy. Be it crochet, be it sit with a cup of tea, be it close your eyes and take a 10 minute nap. Seriously, you should do that. <laughs> Thanks for coming by. I will see you very, very soon. Bye y'all.